Hey there guys, it's Zach here from Inbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Redstone build 14,267. This build includes a few new features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 14... 2... 5... 1... 2... F it, was a, it was an older build. I've forgotten, but it was an older build. This build finally includes some features we can talk about. It's been a while. I think the last video I actually did was 11,099. Uh, that's how long ago this was. Oh no, was it 11,102? It was one of the older builds. So this is the first 14,000 build I think I'm looking at. My memory's terrible today. Let's just dive into what's new. And the first changes are in Microsoft Edge. Now, the first improvements come in the... Well, uh, what's it called? How do we enable it for starters? The uh, Let's actually start with this one first. Download settings. Always ask me what to do with downloads. So now when you download a file within Edge, you will get a download prompt, which is fantastic. So if we try to download something here, uh, media creation tool. That's a good idea. Let's, uh, let's download the media creation tool for Windows 10. So with this option on, it is on, right? Yes. So if we go down here, download tool now, Windows will now ask me to save the file and I can now save as and save it to anywhere I like, which is kind of what it should have been doing since the beginning of Windows 10's creation anyway. But it's now finally here in build 14267, which is fantastic. Now, if we actually go back in here and figure out how to enable it, show favorites bar, there it is. So now we can see we can right click here and show icons only. So if we go to uh, one awesome website, winbeta.org if we pin this how do we pin favorite it yes we can save it to the favorites bar you can tell i haven't used the edge bar that often and now it's now an icon which before it would only just show the entire name so now you can have icons going along the top which is fantastic now what else is new you can now clear browsing data when you exit microsoft edge so I believe you just do this here. Always clear when I close the browser. So now when I close Edge, my browsing history will be gone forever. So nobody will know what I was searching. I have no favorites, no history. I am now an anonymous web surfer or something. So uh, jumping out of Edge. Actually, before we jump out of Edge, let's take a look at one more thing. There's a number of new flags in the About Flags area. If you can see here, use Windows UI composition, no idea what that does. Uh, restart browser doesn't actually do anything different. Enable VP9, which I think was always there anyway. Uh, then we've also got web notifications, which don't actually work yet, but they are laying the foundations for web notifications now, which is very, very nice indeed. So that's pretty much it for Edge. If we dive into the next updated app, which is the messaging app, surprisingly, Microsoft has enabled uh picture messaging within skype finally so I now if i go into one of these let's press continue let's actually set this up continue i don't think i've got any contacts on here do this later do this later I, yeah i don't so i'm just gonna have to pretend as you can see here i can now click on this little paperclip icon if you're running windows 10 if you're running the current release of windows 10 or on windows 10 mobile that paperclip icon is available however you can't press on it or click on it so uh, you can now click on it and you can now import photos or video uh, camera, so oh, it's gone over my camera, I think. Okay, good. No, it didn't. <laughs> uh, my location, contact, which will open the imagine nothing about me. Uh, voice note, which is very nice. I'm recording a voice note, and then that should send off maybe. And of course, you can send a ringtone, which is very nice. But yes, that's pretty much it for the messaging app. And one more feature, which I can't actually show you because Corner seems to be dumb and doesn't understand that she speaks English. I'm set to English Cortana, although Cortana keeps telling me that she doesn't speak this language and I need to set a language she does speak. Regardless, uh, there's now a little music icon that comes up here so you can now listen for music more easily. But there you have it guys, that's a very quick look at 14.267. More features are on the way of course. Uh, there are a few issues fixed such as resetting this PC now works and you should no longer see a wsclient.dll error when you log in. Uh, front facing cameras should be usable, usable again so Windows Hello will work and there's only one known issue and it's only for Hyper-V users so if you're a Hyper-V user and you upgrade to this build your VMs might not have a network connection you can fix it uh, by connecting to the vSwitch deleting the vSwitch and recreate it then reconnect their virtual NIC to the new switch vSwitch so there you go um, uh, so yeah that's a quick look at 14.267 thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one Bye-bye.